Max volume. Yes, it is. Highest quality. No, no. Let's get 4K, baby. Yo, what's up, Jess? We're watching the Jin uh, Tekken 8 trailer. Get ready for the next battle. K-Dash, what's up? This a little okay. All right, just the just the actual like render looks insane. It looks really good. New challenger, I, dude. Okay, people who say that they don't like the announcers, I'm sorry. I love the announcers. The announcer, she is sick. She's the old Pride announcer, like the Japanese Pride, like UFC stuff. She's dope. She's hella dope. It kind of has like that feeling of going into the ring, right? Kind of like going into the ring, they're fighting. I think that's really cool. Yeah, Jin looks crazy. Look at that, man. Look at this. All right, let's watch it full way through and then we're gonna slow it down. Power crush, sidestep. That's the craziest part right there. 2-4 into Zen cancel into the hold that mix. Nutty. Yup, 14 frame punisher. Blah, blah. Fire, 4-4 four, four counter hit launcher. Into the bound heat engager. Let's go. Cancel. Do omen stands. Do it out of attack, dude. That is so cool. Uh, back three one into the into the power crush though, which is really cool. And then the rage art, he just punches him really hard. Looks fire though, still looks fire. All right, cool. The music. The music, okay, y'all, the music, I'm telling you guys, the music is fire. The music is fire. The music is actually fire. I love that. I love the music. Get ready for the next battle. Get All right, well, we're going to watch this in slow motion. We're going to turn off this. All right, this low right here, y'all. Whoo-wee. Okay. This looks like a down back one plus two or something. Oh, I'm doing good, mind you. Hope you are well as well. Yeah, this this low is interesting. This looks like I see a lot of people having a conversation. This looks like a Hachi's down back two, Devil Jin's uh, down back two, right? I mean, this looks like that Lars uh, slow out of um, out of his stance while standing four. He has got. A little bit of challenge. He can he can challenge the, these frames here, but he goes straight into down one power crush, into down one two, which is really interesting. Right, the right hand. Send two. Yeah, yeah, you're right, K dash. Yeah, oh, you got the you. I got the Lars player here, so actually that's really helpful. Sidestep. Oh my God, sidestep exists, everybody. Sidestep exists. Yay, sidestep exists. You guys happy? I hope so. This looks like that looks like um Devil Jin's while standing two, yeah? Doesn't that look like Doesn't that look like Wild Jet Devil Jin's while standing two? And what I'm interested the most is this red property like lines, right? Because I thought that was a homing move. And we had this conversation actually in my Discord. If you're interested, by the way, you can go in up uh, my Discord exclamation point Discord. It looks like a homing move, right? Because it looks like it has a wide sort of range, right? We also look over here in the down back too. It, it, it seems like a homing move. It, like, it goes all around the screen, right? But I think, honestly, I actually think this red thing is a new um, like indicator of a move being punishable. And I'll say why later. It could be it could be just effects as well, right? He gets the glowing eyes after you're right. He does have the glowing eyes here. 
I think though, I'm kind of hoping this is like their new way of indicating like a punishable move. And I'll explain why later. So this is new hell sweep stuff, right? LLRK into this uh, same thing again. Again, I was just why I'm thinking it's kind of like either effects, devil gen effects, right? He's got like an install or whatever, like a devil gen install uh, attacks. Um, or it could be the thing that I was talking about. I hope it's something else that's different, but you know, it'd be cool. It's still cool anyway, if he has got like this red thing. Uh, this two, four Zen cancel into the devil gin. Um, oh gosh, I don't remember the exact input, but the fly input, this looks crazy. Now, some people were saying to me on, on Twitter when I, when I made this post that this is going to be like, kind of like a, um, like a nerf. 2-4 knockdown, I get that. I get that, you know, the knockdown is really powerful, uh, especially like in Tekken 7. I feel like this is a buff, I don't know. Cause I feel like if a move knocks me down, I can kind of like disengage, right? Like and I can either lay on the ground and like let you take a little bit of chip damage, like down four or down two or what have you. And that'll push me far away, right? So I'm safe to get up. But 2-4 here, leaves me standing in a ballerina stun. I don't know, this kind of forces me to block, right? This kind of just forces me to block, whereas now a 2-4 allows me to just stay knocked down, I can just lay on the floor. Right, so this ballerina stun, I feel like forces you to just either retaliate with pressing a button, or, um, or, you know, just block, right? Right? Ballerina spin doesn't splat as far as it's 2-4 right now. That's true. That's true. Uh, but Ballerina spin still does splat, right? Like uh, like Paul's back one too, Ballerina spins, um, and it does splat. It does does do a wall splat. It is a nerf, technically. You're right in that sense. Um, but again, I think the knockdown, I think I would rather take a knockdown than having a force mix up here, to be honest with you. Okay. Oof. God, it looks so pretty though. One, two into this new move again. Uh, now that I look at it, I think it is just his effects to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's scratch that, scratch that new um, property of like, this is a um, uh, punishable move. I, I think we can, we can scratch that. We can scratch that. I think it is just his effects. Uh, back three. Zen into one, that's new, so one, two, I guess? Maybe one or one plus two? Okay. God, holy moly, man, look at this render. Oh, I mean, look at this render, dude, this looks sick. This man is like, what, 17 or 18? <laughs> he hasn't aged. Right, strength isn't everything. My boy has actually grown up amazing. They fix his hair, yeah. Down four, 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 punish, 14 frame, right? This is 14 frame punisher, his 14 frame punisher. Is that, what is that? Uh, one plus two, is that, okay, I never get, I never actually know this is, is this four one plus two or one plus two? I don't remember. Anyway, there he has like one of those two moves, one plus two, okay. Four, four, two into this new elbow move. Right? I think that is just his devil gin effects. All right, scratch that. Scratch my earlier thought. It's fine. <laughs> that looks insane. The, the effects look crazy. Your GPU sweating after I look up this. Dude, this is Elden Ring. Jin has been communing with Placida Sax, right? The dragon with the fucking thunder, the red thunder dragon. Dude, he's been he's been actually just communing with Placida Sax. Holy moly, that red thunder is insane. 4-4, four, four, and the cancel looks really fast here. This is tight. And so this, see, this is why I thought this red new red thing is like means it's punishable or what have you. Right? Because that's an uppercut. And if, as we all know, a lot of uppercut moves in Tekken 7 is launch punishable, right? But again, I, I changed my mind. I think that is just his effects because he is a combined devil gin and gin. So that's why. Um, this punch into the bound. 3-1. Three, 
And then he got this new kick. Oh, not the new kick. That's, um, he has that kick. I just don't remember the name the exact name, but 3-1. I don't think, or maybe like 4-3-1 or whatever. Pushes forward. Um, Kazuya does his down forward two, and then he's got into his Omen stance, which is a power crush, which is crazy. And then Omen, oh boy, uh, Heihachi's dead. Rip to my boy. My man is chilling in the bottom of a volcano. He's dead. 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 Okay. Um, first of all, these details is cool. This chick, she's just she's just holding on for dear life to this stove right here, okay? They're just fighting out here. Like she's like, this is above my pay grade. Absolutely not gonna do anything. Down back two, two, three. And then this roll is interesting. That's not a wall splat, huh? So it doesn't wall splat again. He just rolls. That's interesting. Just good. Four, four, two. Heat engager. Back four, two, one. Down four, two. That's uh, his new geyser, right? Into back three, one into this power crush. That's currently a power crush. Throw kick. So that's interesting. Sends him really far back. Dang, Kazuya is rolling. Do you see that? How he rolls like that. That was sick. Hey, hey, cooking something up in, in that hot dog stand. Hey, he's cooking something for real. Damn. Oh, oh my God. That counter hit. That counter hit is insane. I just noticed, by the way, why would you put two crackpot hot dogs right next to each other? They are, a, they are the same business competing for the same customers. Whoever is, whoever is in charge of putting these hot dog stands right next to each other, you fail, bro. All right. You, 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 you go back to your business school. This is not the way to go. Okay. Um, Smith coffee everywhere. Just that is really cool as well. Nice little touch. Uh, Violet systems in the back. Right. So I think Lee or Violet is, I think is like. Pretty much confirmed. Leroy Smith statue in the back. That's fire. All right. So this is like maybe like maybe the, the name of the stage could be like Smith Plaza or something. There's a lot of Leroy's um like um stuff around the stage. If they get busy, you get a second one. They're both stacked. There's no legit devil and his son fighting. <laughs> They're like, yo, let me go to this, let me go to Smith Plaza and get some crackpot hot dog and watch Jin and Kazuya just duke it out. Okay, and then this this rage art sends him really far up. And then the mix of the devil gene and Jin controlling the devil, right? That is okay, it does look fire. My boy's been talking to Sephiroth, all right, quite a bit. And this punch, this punch is honestly. Dude, look at you see Kazuya. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. My boy, my boy does not look. He he is not amused. He he does not look amused. Look at his face. Look at his look at his face. <laughs> he's like, he's like. Oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> he does not. He is not amused. He is not amused. That was funny. Yo, and he just punches him really hard. It's a little messy, I'm gonna be honest. Pushes him forward, and then, boom, goes through him. Man, he looks fire, dude. Yeah, Jin looks crazy. Yeah, you, then you, you realize Tekken 8 and Tekken 7, oh my goodness. Like, Tekken 7 is an old game. If anything, this is gonna be a, this game is gonna be really nice. It's going to look fire. But anyways, that's it. That is the end of that trailer. Um, man, honestly, super excited over what's um, kind of like what they're showing. Uh, I can't wait to see what they got in store for next Tuesday. I'm hoping it's also next Tuesday. And then the next subsequent Tuesdays until Evo Japan is here. Um, but yeah, really excited. Jin looks really cool. He seems more Kazuma-like than uh, Mishima, which is really cool. Uh, I think it's also reflected on his clothing as well, right? More white instead of the darker colors that he has in Tekken 7. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. He's He seems really, uh, Jin seems really cool. I kind of want to try playing Jin now. Just to, you know, just to get ready. Uh, 
yeah, super excited over what's going to happen and what's going to be uh, released next week. So uh, looking forward to that.